It's Fast Break 15, the rapid recap of high school hoops in East Central Illinois. Tonight, the Big 12 wraps up their regular season. The seniors of Central say goodbye to their home court, looking to clinch the Big 12 title against Danville. Plus, the Chargers of Centennial look to head into regionals on a high note as they travel to Mattoon. Speaking of regionals, it's Championship Friday across the region. In Class 2A, Bismarck Henning kicks on SJO, and fresh off of clips in the century mark, Unity looks to advance the sectionals with St. Thomas Moore standing in their way. And in Class 1A, Uni High looks for their first regional championship against the Bunnies of Fisher. Fast break 15, you never know how the games will end. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Fast Break 15. What a time of year. The regular season is coming to an end, and the moments these teams have worked for for the entire season are just around the corner. That's the case for the Central Maroons in action tonight, looking for, to win the Big 12 championship against Danville. Corvon Butler sidelined for the Maroons, and Central would miss his presence down low. The other seniors for Central trying to step up. Alex Rocks with the corner three. But the Maroons, they would have no response for Danville senior Dennis Hightower. Hightower averaging over 18 a game, and here's why. Three from the top of the key. Central down, heading into the fourth. They would try and answer. Nice ball movement leads to the bucket for Xavier Martin. And then it would be Clayton Jones, a bit out of control, but he'll compose himself and hit the three ball cutting the deficit to three. But Hightower and the Vikings, they would not be denied here. He pulls up for the floater. And Danville, they play the role of major spoiler, beating Central by a final score of 70 to 63. Well, I feel like we played a very good game. Uh, I think we, our defense capitalized us to uh, get turnover, cause them to get turnovers and uh, us easy fast break points. It feels great, man. I feel like uh, we got a little payback tonight, and uh, I feel like it feels good to spoil the little senior night. And uh, I don't think they won a Big 12 championship because we beat them, right? So it feels good, man. I'm feeling great. And the Chargers of Centennial looking to build some momentum before heading into regionals. They're taking on Mattoon first quarter. It's Devin Carter with the three ball to put Centennial ahead. Then it would be Philip Wright. Nice pass by Talon Alexander. Down low to right for the bucket. Later on in the first, well, once again, Philip Wright coming up with another layup down low in transition. Devin Carter to right for the bucket. And then why not stick with Wright once again? It's working for the Chargers. He'll score once again. Another nice look there by Alexander. Mattoon, they would have success from way downtown. Nine of their first three baskets in this game. Three pointers there is Skyler Hartbank, but it wouldn't be enough. Central goes on to win this one 65 to 57. And while the Big 12 wraps up their regular season Friday evening, other teams across the area already well in the regional playoffs. It's Championship Friday in Class 2A Westville region as top seed Bismarck Henning looks to advance to sectionals, taking on number two seed St. Joseph's Ogden. We're from Bismarck Henning, and I feel the game's going to be 52-50, uh, to 50, a real close game. Yeah, we got to play good defense, uh, get a little payback from last year. It was a rough loss last year. So. It's going to be a battle tonight. Yeah. Championship Friday in Class 2A here. Would Bismarck get revenge? Well, early on, Chase Patton with the corner three. Bismarck, they would respond. Steven Kraut hits the three. Then Patton says, I'll one up you. Three from the corner. Kraut says, you know what? My turn, another three. But Patton says, anything you can do, I can do better. Three here, you get the idea. They're trading triples in that one. SJO doubling them up, going into the second quarter. Bismarck, they would try to respond from the outside. But the Spartans, well, they would respond with a slam. SJO goes on the win. They win the regional. They'll advance the sectionals. They beat Bismarck Henning by a final of 71 to 50. And we've reached halftime on the fast break, but don't change that channel. Still much more to come. Unity takes on St. Thomas More in the Tuscola Regional Championship. And Uni High looks to make school history. Fast break 15, right back at you after the break.
Welcome back to Fast Break 15. We've already seen St. Joseph's Ogden advance to the Class 2A sectionals, but who would join them from the Tuscola Regional Championship? Fresh off their 102-point performance against Monticello Unity, looking for a big win against the Sabres of St. Thomas More. Pick things up in the fourth quarter here for St. Thomas More. It's David Cochran hitting the bucket, cutting into the lead, but Unity, they would be too much on this night. They would hit their free throws down the stretch, and the Rockets will win the regional trophy by a final score of 57 to 47. They advance to sectionals next week. It feels great. We, uh, we battled. We uh, had a bad third quarter. We didn't play as well as we should have, and uh, they got back into it, but we fought, and it feels good to get the win. And my hat's off to St. Thomas More. They came out. They played hard. Uh, they played much better than they did the other night. Um, you know, we, we, I thought we played defense when we had to play defense. And in Class 1A, Uni High just one win away from making school history and winning a regional championship. The only thing that stood in their way, the talented Bunnies from Fisher High School. To Harbo and Pinto and the rest of the seniors on Uni High looking out to get to a fast start in this one. Here it's Ezra Winter Nelson with a nice jump stop in the lane in the bucket for two. But Fisher, they would respond. Paul Fredrickson with the three ball from the top of the key. Then for Uni High, Simeon Washington will find Bowen Pinto for the basket down low. The Uni High fans that made the drive to Armstrong pumped up as their team looks for the upset victory. Here it's Bowen Pinto once again going coast to coast for the basket, but the Bunnies, they would be too much on this night. Parker Pereiro finds Dylan Chapman for the corner three. Fisher advancing to sectionals, winning the Armstrong Regional by beating Uni High 39 to 24. Turning our attention to girls hoops, Cowden Herrick just one victory away from a state championship appearance standing in their way. Taylor McClintock and the Illini Bluffs pick things up late third quarter. CHBC tries to pull away. Avon Perluski hits the three to put the Hornets up big, but they would have no response for McClintock. She sets an IHSA state record with 14 field goals en route to a 38 point performance. But CHBC able to break the pressure and advance to the IHSA state. Class one championship game beating Illini Bluffs 63 to 54. Who will the Hornets play in the title game? Well, it'll be Fremont akin. Sophie Bruner led the way with 30 points and eight rebounds. Leroy will finish up their season in the third place game against the Illini Bluffs Saturday at noon. Finally, Illini basketball gearing up for their second to last home game of the season on Sunday against Iowa. Losers of six straight, the Illini have plummeted in the Big Ten standings, but with three games remaining in the regular season, the team is trying to keep their hopes up and finish the year on a high note. We gotta stay focused, you know. I think this next practice is gonna be real competitive, so as long as we bring that competitive spirit to the court, you know, realize that, you know, other people that might not might think it's over, but we don't we still in our mind don't think it's over. You know, we can come in and get these wins and uh, looking forward to playing better. I always feel like I've been a top dog, you know, ever since I was growing up, and I've always been able to overcome things uh, in my life, and, you know, especially in sports, uh, but I've never been through something quite like this. Uh, it's been tough, there's no doubt about it, um, especially, you know, being one of the notable players. Uh, it's tough. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to lead these guys and, you know, get everyone together along with Brandon and DJ, you know, just to try to make a final stretch here because, you know, off the court, we love each other. We love each other on the court. But, you know, we just been through a rough stretch and hope we can put it all together before time runs out. So the Illini will look to snap the worst losing streak in the Bruce Weber era on Sunday against Iowa. And one final score for you, Urbana beats Decatur Eisenhower 67-63. That's it for Fast Break. Have a great weekend, everybody.